Greetings, it's Maxo Diddly, and today I'm going to be showing you how you can add a progress bar to your video in Unity. So, like with YouTube, the progress bar will update based on how far you are in the video, but also you can drag it to seek a different position in the video to play from. So, let's get right into it. So, so this tutorial is part of my series of playing videos in Unity. There's an eye up in the corner for the playlist, there's not much code, however I'm only going to cover how to add the slider bar, not how to play the video. So, let's get into it. We're going to go to our canvas, we're going to then right click, go to UI, and then go to slider. So we're, this is going to be our slider which we can use to seek out different positions in the video. So we're going to put it to the top of the screen for now, we're going to make it a lot wider, and we're going to save. Now we're going to go into our vid player script. Firstly, we need to do two more global variables in our vid player class. We need to do serialize field, slider, time slider, and private bool is dragon equals false. So here we're just going to get a reference to our slider, which we just created in Unity. And this boolean here is going to basically be responsible for letting this class know are we dragging the little slider or not? In our start function, we're going to do time slider, so we're going to reference our slider. Dot on value change dot add listener handle time slider value change. So what we're thinking, Max, what are we doing here? Well, basically, we're going to be getting our time slider, and we're going to be adding a new listener to it, and we're going to be passing in a function that we're going to create in a moment, which is why it's got red lines underneath. But basically, what means but basically what this means is we're going to be calling this function whenever the value of our slider changes. But basically whenever we drag the circle about to change the value. We are now going to do a little bit of code in our update function. So we're going to do if exclamation mark dragging and video player. So this code in the update is only going to occur if we're not dragging and a video player exists. And then what we can do is we can do time slider.value equals float.videoplayer.time. So basically, we're going to be updating the value of our little slider to reflect how far we are into our video. This just works out of the box regardless of how long your video is. So no fancy maths is required. Then we're going to do if time slider.max value is not equal to float.videoplayer.length time slider dot max value equals float video player dot length and basically this bit of code ensures that the end point of the uh, slider matches the end point or the total duration of the video this way when the slider is at its maximum value it corresponds to the end of the video so if you're following along with my series scroll all the way to the bottom of the class we are going to do a function called public void begin drag and then we're going to set is dragging to true so basically when we start dragging our little circle we want to set the is dragging boolean to be true we're going to then do the same but for stopping a drag so we're going to do public void end drag and is dragging will be equal to false after that we're then going to do public void handle time slider value changed with a float value as a parameter this by the way is the function we referenced up here as you can see it's now yellow which is fantastic so basically if we're dragging and have a video player then video player dot time equals value so this is going to be the function that occurs when we've dragged our circle and we're going to tell the video player hey this is the new time you need to jump to and it only occurs obviously if when you're dragging and one other thing i want to just quickly mention because this is all the code for for the tutorial the reason why we're checking for is dragging to be false here we don't want to move the circle with the video while we're dragging. We want the user to have control over where the circle is while they are dragging it. Otherwise, it'd be like a bit of a bit of tug of war potentially between the user and the slider, which we don't want. But that's all the code we're going to have. So save your work and return to Unity. We're nearly done. So we're going to go to our slider. And what we're going to do is we've got on value changed single. We're going to click on a plus. Then we're going to drag our vid player object. This is where our vid player script is, by the way. 
So we're going to drag it into here. And where it says no function, we need to click on it, then go to vid player. Then we need to go to handle time slide value changed float. And you can leave it to zero because what's going to happen is when we change the value, whatever the value of the slider is, is going to get passed into this function when it's called. So you can leave the zero as it is. You might even be able to put in 69 if you want to be funny. But I haven't tested that because I'm mature. Then we need to click on add component and we're going to type ev event and we're going to click on event trigger because we're going to be using a couple of events. So we need to click on add new event type. We need to do begin drag and then click on add event type again and then do end drag. So we can then call some code when we start dragging and call some code when we stop dragging. So we can cl click on the plus, drag in the vid player Go to no function, go to vid player, go to begin drag, and we're going to do the same for the end drag. So we can drag in our vid player, go to vid player, do our end drag. So basically when we start dragging, we're going to set the boolean is dragging to true, and when we stop dragging, we'll set the is dragging boolean to false. And we've got some functions to do that just nicely. One more thing we have to do, we have to go to our vid player and we need to drag in our slider into the slider here. And that should be it. So save your work and we're going to hit play. You turn into a big Look, it's working. Doctor. It's slide into the position of the video. And then when the video stops, you turn into in fact, let's use the pause build. button here to make it easier to say. But basically you just saw when we looped, the circle went back to the start, and when the video ended, it was at the very end. So it's working perfectly. So let's um, resume, but mute it. So we're going to quickly try and drag it back. Look, we can move it about, like we would with YouTube. This is great. One limitation is you do have to drag the circle, otherwise it's a bit weird. But you know what? This is a good victory. In fact, what if we pause it and then start? No way, it works perfectly with our pause code in the previous tutorial. This is fantastic. So, thanks for being a great audience, be sure to leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed, and subscribe for more Unity tutorials.